I, yeah, I think um, we expect that every week we go into play. You cannot never underestimate a team um, just because of the name. And this team has proven that they can beat a lot of big name opponents. They beat number seven West Virginia last year. They beat Louisville also. So, I mean, you, you go into the thing thinking, okay, you're just going to blow this team out. You got another thing coming. Quinn, you were the third most productive defensive lineman on, on the Auburn team last week. You were the SEC defensive lineman of the week. Did you stuff that ballot box or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just uh, I thank God for, for, the, for, for them recognizing me. And, um, I thank them for recognizing me, too. Um, I think it's, it's it's a credit to our team. You know, if you have three guys, and I'm the third best defensive lineman production-wise, and I mean, we're obviously doing something right up front. So uh, we just need to keep doing what we're doing. Talk about the way AC played that game. Yeah, he played great, man. She didn't come along a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially, uh, he was a lot baby fire last year, you know, and I think that first year you always baby fire because you always want to think you're going to play, and when you don't play as much, you get mad. So I think that he got that out of his system. He's going to be a, a great player for the league. You looking for that one more sack to Tyler Rick? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking for it, but at the same time, I'm not going to press for it. Um, it. If it comes to me, it comes to me. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You've been prank calling Gerald Robinson's house or anything? You know, saying I'm coming for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually been trying. I wanted, I wanted immediate relationship to really get in touch with Gerald um, to have him at the game, um, just for the simple fact to, to recognize his great accomplishment. You know what I mean? And if, if he's there, he's there. If he's not, then I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll probably get in touch with him some way. Have you been practicing some kind of celebration, <laughs> dance? <laughs> no, nah, I really I haven't. Mean, Speech. I, <laughs> nah, uh, I really pretty much dance after every sack anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so it's not going to be anything special. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to – I got in trouble last week because I took my helmet off. So I got in trouble. So I'm going to go to the sideline this time and celebrate with teammates. You didn't mean to do that, did you? No, <laughs> no. Hey, uh, Courtney Denson was your plan. Did you know him at all? Yeah, me and Courtney had together. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was 2003 class. We came in together. He uh, – he was so pressed on playing quarterback. <laughs> it was just something that wasn't going to happen. And he went down there, he played quarterback for like two games, and then they moved him to DB, and then they moved him to receiver. I mean, he he's a guy that, that's, that pushes him. He's great at whatever position you put him in. He, he was becoming a great defensive back before he left here. But um, he's a guy that had great quicks, and that's the thing about South Florida, that whole team. It's like every one of them is quick, you know what I mean, and they're fast. And that's something we really have to get ready for. Do you remember the first time you came to Jordan-Hare Stadium and the you know the huge crowd and the eagle flying and all that stuff? I mean, were you kind of I don't by? remember the eagle flying. I was in locker room, but I remember. Yeah, I remember the eagle flying. It was my first visit to Georgia game. The year they won the SEC championship, 2002. Yeah. You know, that, that was that great 13 in one year. And uh, we lost, but the, the thing I remember about that game was it was cold, first off. Second off, uh, Michael Johnson beat oh, yeah. Horace Willis. <laughs> Twice on the same drive, and I was like, Lord, have mercy. But at the same time, it was a great game. Anyway, like uh, the South Florida, you know, coming in for the first time to that environment, you know, seeing that huge crowd, the eagle, all the noise and everything. Nah, Can you imagine be, them being kind of intimidated? Nah, they'll be ready for it, man. They, they play in big stadiums all, all across the country. You know what I mean? Being in the Big East, they, 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 they're used to kind of used to playing such big atmospheres and big game the atmospheres. Um, we just have to take the crowd. We have to use the crowd to our advantage this week. Um, they go out shotgun. If we in shotgun, the offensive line can't see the ball. they so much keen on you. So we're gonna have to just use the crowd. Like I said, to our advantage. Physical. Physical guy. Uh, he's a great blocking back as well as a great runner. I've seen him pick up a couple of blitzes, flat back guys. I'm like, wow.